Many older workers have found it challenging, to say the very least, to get their jobs back after the pandemic dramatically altered the work environment everywhere. Age discrimination has become the question. This information and so much more comes from a recent survey hosted by AARP. Bill Rivera is the Senior Vice President for Litigation at AARP Foundation. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Angie. Well, this is uh, disturbing information. How did you feel about the results of the survey and what has it taught you? Well, you know, it is sad because we all know that age discrimination, like other forms of discrimination, is wrong. It's illegal in all jurisdictions at both the federal and state level, and yet it continues to happen. We know from our ARP research that 62% of workers 50 and older have experienced or witnessed age discrimination in the workplace recently. So it is sadly not surprising that it is as prevalent as it is, but we keep fighting it and trying to help other people fight it as well. Well, when I'm you know, listening to you talk and I'm reading this information, I'm thinking older workers, and I'm one of them, have so much wisdom and expertise and knowledge and maturity, and I would think that would move them kind of to the top of the chain. So what are some of the signs we're seeing uh, for age discrimination? Yeah, you're right. There is so much value that older workers can offer in any labor market, but especially in a tight one when you hear employers saying that they have a hard time finding qualified workers. Older workers can be some of the best workers you'll have regardless of position. But yet we see things in the workplace like being denied opportunities for promotion in favor of younger workers or having the employer invest in younger workers when it comes to training or more choice assignments. Those things can be signs of age discrimination. You might have an environment that tolerates ageist comments or that reflects negative stereotyping about aging. Things like hearing that you can't teach an old dog new tricks or referring to some workers as dinosaurs or fossils, as well as ultimately if there is a layoff or if there is a reorganization, finding that the older workers are the ones who are let go relative to younger workers or that they are replaced by younger workers as well. Well, Bill, that being said, what should uh, a worker do if they are he or she experiencing this sort of treatment? What's the next step? Well, most importantly is to try to document any instance of potential discrimination that you have in real time. You want to do it while your memory is fresh and really as much detail as you can. When did it happen? What did you see? What did you hear? Who else was there? All of these things can be very helpful for you to demonstrate that there was in fact age discrimination. Talk to your supervisor. A lot of times you can resolve these concerns informally, but maybe you can't and you need to go further up the chain through the HR process or whatever formal complaint process your employer may have. And ultimately you may decide that you wanna to talk to an attorney. As I said earlier, age discrimination in the workplace is illegal every and you might decide based on consultation with an attorney that you want to file a complaint with the state employment agency or with the federal equal employment opportunity commission please bill please send our viewers to a website where they can get more information Sure, you can get additional information at www.aarp.org slash age discrimination or aarpfoundation.org. We have resources there to help you find a job, including the AARP Job Board, which has a list of employers with job opportunities from employers who are interested in a work force that is age diverse. We have a resume advisor, so you can send in your resume for free feedback to get you a stronger resume, as well as AARP Foundation's Back to Work 50 Plus program, which is free and can connect you with free workshops, coaching, and other tools and resources to help with your job search. Bill Rivera, thank you so much for all this important information and guidance. Thank you so much, Angie. And we'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this.